Finding forward, how we keep going in the wake of COVID-19. How do we move forward in the wake of COVID-19? It's a question every single government, business, family, and individual is asking themselves. And the answers aren't easy. In the technology industry, we've been chatting about the future of work being remote for years. Suddenly, nearly all of us, if we are lucky, have been thrown into that reality, ready or not. How do we create boundaries at home between family and work, especially when schools and daycares are closed and both parents need hours in the day to get work done? In terms of supply chain, businesses are frantic, in both good and bad ways. Freight delivery is still accessible for businesses, even though travel restrictions are imposed upon citizens themselves. Nonetheless, individual communities are beginning to run out of supplies due to high medical demand, respirators, surgical masks, hand sanitizer, COVID-19 tests. To meet these needs, brands are stepping up World War II style, shifting large parts of their supply chain to focus on these products. Tesla, Ford and GM are gearing up to make respirators instead of cars. Brands like Rogue Fitness are shifting to make masks. Perfumeries and distilleries around the world are making hand sanitizer for their communities and country. As the world grapples with what all of this means, companies are stepping in to fill the role of savior and leader during the crisis. Embedded content from Twitter.com This pandemic with no end in sight is also spurring a massive shift also in consumer behavior. With no other options, consumers shift to online shopping. Online shopping is up, and consumers are much more aware of the need for delivery drivers and the importance of a grocery store run. The pendulum is swinging during the the war against this virus and the toll it is taking on our mental and physical health, as well as economy. While e-commerce has been lauded as the future of retail, it's now getting far more attention and focus than it bargained for, and e-commerce retailers and suppliers are rapidly trying adjust to the needs emerging as people are locked down within their homes. It's becoming quite apparent that we really are better together, as companies are partnering, combining power, intelligence, resources, and audiences to offer the resources and answers that the world is clamoring for. It's time for the wartime team. It is indeed time for the wartime CEO. Moreover, it is time for the wartime team. Each of us are our own platoons. How can we work together to survive another day, and to prepare for the days of uncertainty ahead? These are the questions we'll put to the community on Friday, March 27th on Twitter. To answer hard questions and solve hard problems, it's a group effort. Even in our physical distance, it's our collective brain power that will get us through. No matter what, one thing is abundantly clear, we need leaders, ingenuity, cooperation, and grit. We're all in this together. Every single one of us.